today's art lesson, we're going to learn how to mix colors using markers, water, uh, either some coffee filters, or you could even use a paper towel or just a piece of paper cut into a circle. And we're going to turn these coffee filters that we make and mix colors with the markers um, into monsters. So let's get started. So what you're going to do is you're going to take two layers of coffee filter and on my table I have a cake pan set up just so that it doesn't get uh, the mess underneath it is gonna leak through a little bit so you could also use just a paper plate and set it on top and do it that way too but any kind of tray will work before we start let's learn about the color wheel on the color wheel we have three really important colors called the primary colors those are blue yellow and red and they mix to make every single other color in the color wheel including orange green and purple which are our secondary colors blue. so if you mix any of these two colors they are going to make a new color so i'm going to start out with just two colors and it doesn't matter if you color the whole coffee filter because when we spray it with water, it's gonna kind of get in all of those little cracks. So it's okay if it doesn't mix or if it's not completely covered up all the way. And you can really design your coffee filter however you want. You could do stripes, you could do triangles, you could do circles. I'm just kind of making it look a little bit like almost like a tie dye. So it radiates out from the center. So I'm just gonna keep on coloring and I'm gonna sort of create a pattern. So I'm gonna go red, yellow, red, yellow. Until I get to the top of my coffee filter. When it's all finished, I'm gonna take either a spray bottle or you can also use a little um, dauber that drips water onto your, your coffee filter. But what we're gonna do is just spray the, co the top of the coffee filter and get it wet enough that it gets kind of soaked and you can see the marker starts to um, kind of move around and soak into the, the texture of the fabric. So get it nice and wet. Then we are going to let this dry so that's why we have this tray, so that we can easily move it out of the way so it's not stuck to your table. And we're going to let this completely dry, and when we come back, it's going to have a really cool mixed pattern with all different kinds of colors mixing together. And then we will be able to turn it into our monster. together it'll make kind of a dark purple but I like the look of a really really bright purple and pink is actually a lighter version of red so they're gonna mix the same way so I'm gonna use that for my next design <laughs> So for this next part, you're going to need different types of papers. You can use magazine paper, um, construction paper. If you just have white paper, you can also use markers to color the details. But we're going to add on some fun details like arms and legs and eyes and maybe some horns, things like that.
that's no problem. You can just take a plain piece of paper and take your markers and kind of scribble around. These are going to be like little scribble monsters. Then you have the option, you can either take a paintbrush and load it up with water and just paint it on top, or you can do the same thing, spray some water on top. So now you can go back in with those markers and add other details if you want. So if you want to kind of define the edge again, you can go and kind of trace around it. That's kind of fun. These ones are kind of fluffy monsters. Then you can go in and add details like legs 